It turns out, as I recall, that in fact they did have permanent residence issued by the previous director, Ms. Ms. Mean. So they were, looked properly legit. The file looked properly legit with all its, its uh, minutes on the minute sheet. In the investigation, it seemed that the application, somewhere between the application accepted by the counter clerk and the processing by the director, something went awry. Those two persons were Ms. Pacheco and Mr. Wade. I could not nail down who or where or what, but that is one of the reasons and one of the cases why they were recommended to go before the Public Service Commission. Notwithstanding that, however, because they did not swear in, we could not find an oath. I ordered that Ms. Marin immediately do two things. One, notify all ports of entry, clip the passports so that when they would show up, immediately they would be uh, nullified and take uh, measures to cancel the certificates. That, of course, is on record so you can check with her. That was what was done at that time. So when it showed up in the audit report, I was satisfied that we had already taken the necessary action with, with those two. Clearly, I was very upset that this had, had come to me in this way. But we were unable to locate how and when the permanent residence was issued. But I remember clearly that the permanent residence was issued and signed by the then director, Ms. Ruth Main. And that, of course, at the time when the file was presented, seemed very valid. So those, those passports have not shown up yet, as far as I know. But the notice is there to clip them whenever they show up. Just to be clear, you are saying that in relation to these two individuals, Mr. Nolan and Mr. Davis, their nationality has been cancelled? The instructions was given for them for the certificate to be cancelled and the passports to be clipped. Right. But you're saying the passports haven't surfaced. Well, as far as I know, Senator. So they are using those passports right now, masquerading as Belizeans when you are saying that their nationality has been cancelled? Could well be. Is there a process for Interpol or some international immigration organization to be informed that these passports are invalid? I am not, I can't suggest, I can't say that. I don't know that that in fact has been done. Minister, just to go back to the process, Ms. Pacheco and Mr. Wade, you are saying that something went wrong from the counter clerk, and in their dealing with it, are you excluding Ms. Ruth Main? No, none at all. Because the file goes up, Senator... No, we understand the process, yeah. but the concern for us is this. I would you not exclude the director, because when the file comes to me, I always ensure that the director says, Minister... The file is complete and recommended for your approval and signed by her, so I cannot exclude the director. 